A salad is a dish consisting of a mixture of small pieces of food, usually vegetables or fruit. However, different varieties of a salad may contain virtually any type of ready-to-eat food. People think of them only as diet food, substitutes for real meals. But salads can be more creative than iceberg lettuce and a few croutons. Cooks and chefs have invented plenty of full-flavored dishes that show us how fresh and delicious salads can be. Here are 10 from around the world. Greek salad, also known as village salad or horiatiki is the national dish of Greece, consisting of quartered tomatoes, sliced red onions, and chunky slices of cucumber. Depending on the region, there can also be olives, green peppers, capers, feta cheese, oregano, salt, pepper, or a typical dressing made from olive oil and lemon or vinegar. When feta cheese is present in the salad, it is commonly diced and mixed in with a fork so that it crumbles to smaller pieces. Its name suggests that it was a rural dish, when farmers would take some essential ingredients to the field and mix them together. Greek salad is a true summer dish, full of refreshing, raw vegetables and herbs. It is best to prepare it with ripe tomatoes that are in season, while the olives should be of the Kalamata variety. Served in a shallow bowl, it is present on numerous Greek tables, either at home or in the taverns. The iconic Caesar salad was named after its creator Cesar, Caesar, Cardinai, an Italian immigrant who lived in San Diego but, circumventing prohibition laws in the United States, operated a popular restaurant in Tijuana, just south of the Mexican border. Back then, in the 1920s, during the prohibition era, Tijuana was flourishing as many Californians, including Hollywood Jet Set, would often drive over to party and enjoy the good life. And just like it was the case with many other world-famous dishes, Caesar salad was invented through sheer ingenuity and improvisation. In 1924, on a busy 4th of July weekend, Cardinai's restaurant was packed so when the renowned restaurateur realized he's running low on food supplies, as he didn't want to disappoint the customers, Caesar concocted a salad with what was left over in the kitchen. To animate the guests and add some flair to his new invention, Cardinai prepared the salad table side, as many restaurants still do today, tossing the crisp romaine lettuce with creamy coddled eggs, garlic-flavored croutons, parmesan cheese, olive oil, and Worcestershire sauce. Originally, the romaine leaves were coated with the dressing and placed on a serving plate in a circle, stem side out, so that the diners could enjoy their salad with fingers. In 1926, Alex Cardinai, a former ace pilot in the Italian Air Force during WWI, joined his brother Caesar at his Tijuana restaurant. Back then, the dish was named Aviator Salad in honor of the pilots from San Diego's Rockwell Field Air Base who, reportedly, one morning, after a long night of drinking and missing curfew, woke up at Caesar's restaurant and enjoyed the salad prepared by Alex Cardinai for breakfast. Later on, as the salad gained popularity with other Californian visitors, it was renamed to Caesar Salad. Alex also added other ingredients to the already famed concoction, in particular anchovies, even though Caesar was said to be against that inclusion, claiming that the Worcestershire sauce was enough to provide the faint fishy flavor. Moreover, in 1948 Caesar Cardinai established a patent on the salad dressing which is still today produced and marketed by Caesar Cardinai Foods, Inc. as Cardinai's original Caesar dressing mix. Regardless of the two slightly different recipes and dressing variations, Caesar salad became a sensation sought after from coast to coast, eventually even becoming a success in Europe, especially after the Paris-based International Society of Epicures in 1953 proclaimed it as the greatest recipe to originate from the Americas in 50 years. Tam Som is a versatile green papaya salad which is an incredibly popular dish in Thailand and Laos. The main ingredients are thin and crunchy papaya strips, which can be complemented with a variety of other vegetables such as long beans or green mangoes. 
The salad is often topped with preserved or fresh crab meat, peanuts, or dried shrimps. Besides green papaya, the crucial element is a slightly sweet and spicy sauce that is generously poured over the salad. It employs classic Thai ingredients such as spicy chilies, garlic, lime juice, palm sugar, roasted ground peanuts, and tomatoes, all combined and ground into a paste. The sauce can also appear in many other combinations, and can greatly vary in sweetness and spiciness. Numerous restaurants and street stalls allow the customers to choose the variety which they prefer and to adjust the ingredients to their preference. Nothing embodies the essence of summer in southern Italy like vibrant colors of the flavorful Insalata Capras, a true classic of Neapolitan cuisine. The perfect combination of ripe, sun-kissed tomatoes, creamy mozzarella and fresh basil, this simple salad is believed to have originated on the island of Capri, hence the name. Capras was originally made with the Riumberto or Fiasconi tomatoes, traditionally grown along the beautiful Amalfi coast, and Truxia di Sorrento, a type of braided mozzarella cheese. Also, contrary to popular practice, the authentic Capras salad recipe doesn't call for balsamic or any other type of vinegar. Instead, mozzarella and tomatoes are thickly sliced, arranged on a plate and garnished with basil leaves, sprinkled with some salt and white pepper, then finished with a generous drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Fatimish is a simple salad made with traditional pita bread as a base on which the rest of the ingredients are built on. Pita bread is torn or cut into small bite-sized pieces, then toasted, grilled, or fried. It is then mixed with a variety of vegetables such as lettuce, radish, crunchy cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, or regular tomatoes, peppers, onions, and, occasionally, garlic. All ingredients are chopped and cut into pieces and mixed with a generous amount of herbs, most commonly mint and parsley. The final touch to this authentic salad is the dressing, usually made with olive oil, lemon juice, and pomegranate syrup. The key ingredient, next to the crunchy pita bread, is shumac, a spice commonly used in the Levantine area. Shumac can be added to the dressing, and it is usually sprinkled on top of a prepared salad. It gives the dish a slightly tart taste and zest, which perfectly matches with the gentle flavors and aromas of fresh herbs and vegetables. The original Fatimish is highly versatile, and other common additions may include crisp pomegranate seeds, olives, yogurt, and feta cheese. It is one of the most famous salads frequently eaten in Lebanon, Syria, Israel, Palestine, Jordan, and Iraq. This refreshing salad belongs to a group of dishes popularly called fatit, which use the stale pita, or any other flat bread, as the star ingredient. Tabbouli is a colorful Lebanese national dish that is usually considered a salad, with a crunchy and chewy texture, made with fresh, finely chopped parsley leaves, olive oil, bulgur wheat, and chopped mint leaves as a base. It originated in the mountains of Lebanon and Syria, where edible herbs that are used in tabbouli were consumed by Arabs since medieval times. Usually served as an appetizer, it is sometimes accompanied by pita bread, baba ganesh, or hummus. Chopped red tomatoes, diced cucumbers, fresh lemon juice and minced onions can be added to the salad, imparting a tangy flavor. It is best to refrigerate tabbouli for a few hours before serving to improve its taste. Its refreshing flavors are ideal for a hot summer day, while bulgur provides a rich source of fiber, protein, and minerals, making tabbouli one of the healthiest food options in Lebanon. Tabbouli is so popular that it even has its own day, 
celebrated every year on the first Saturday in July. Olivier salad is a Russian salad with variable ingredients, but it is typically made with chopped vegetables, meat, and mayonnaise. The key ingredients include diced potatoes, vegetables, eggs, chicken, or ham. This salad is one of the most important appetizers at the New Year's salad buffets in Russia, as well as in some of the other countries of the former USSR. The original was invented in the 1860s by Lucien Olivier, a chef in the popular Moscow restaurant called El Hermitage. Olivier guarded the recipe until he died, but it is believed that the recipe was stolen by an employee who watched the chef at work, so the salad is still made today. Kerdok is the traditional Indonesian version of a vegetable salad. This simple and healthy dish calls for fresh and raw ingredients which are sliced and served with a traditional peanut sauce. The most common vegetables in Kerdok include cucumbers, cabbage, green beans, Thai basil, bean sprouts, and eggplant, however, other vegetables can be used as well. The sauce is made by grinding fried peanuts together with salt, palm sugar, and chili. The flavor of the sauce can be adjusted with other ingredients such as shrimp paste or garlic. Due to the usage of peanut sauce, kerdok is often compared with another Indonesian specialty, gado gado, but it is still distinguished by the usage of only raw ingredients. Kerdok originated in West Java and is traditionally associated with the Sudanese ethnic group. In Indonesia, Kerdok can be found at food stalls, traditional hawker-style food courts, and restaurants. However, for the Sudanese community, it represents a daily dish, eaten at any time of the day, and it is usually served together with rice, tofu, tempeh, and kropak traditional Asian prawn crackers. Shopska salad is a traditional cold salad that is also one of the national dishes of Bulgaria. The word Shopska in its name refers to the frugal shoppy people from the Shopluk region, where Bulgaria, Serbia, and Macedonia meet. Often served during summer, when one can find it in most Bulgarian restaurants, the salad consists of chopped tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, roasted or raw peppers, and Bulgarian cheese. It was originally created in the 1950s, when Bulgarian top chefs were asked to create dishes that would attract tourists to the country. The vegetables are typically salted, drizzled with sunflower oil, and sprinkled with grated Bulgarian Cyrene cheese on top. Some people substitute sunflower oil with olive oil in hopes to enhance the dish, but it is believed that it only spoils the authentic taste of the salad. A perfect, light, and refreshing dish for hot summer days, Shopska salad is a healthy bite of Bulgarian tradition. KSR is a classic Turkish salad made with thin bulgur wheat, tomatoes, mint, garlic, parsley, and either lemon juice or sour pomegranate molasses. Red pepper flakes are often added to the salad to make it spicier. Lemon juice is typically used in northwestern Turkey, while pomegranate molasses is more commonly used in the southeast of the country. The salad is ideal for buffets and maize, but it is also often used as a side dish for a variety of barbecued meat dishes. It is traditionally served cold or at room temperature. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post.